What's up, man? This is Frankie. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion, may not necessarily be factual. Don't buy and sell a stock because of anything that I say in this video. Do your own DD. Look, what prompted me to do this video is that I was watching an AMC retail investor. I think his ambition is his ambitions is to have to be an AMC YouTuber. That's his goal. And he realized one of the ways to do that is to, um, how would I say it, is to speak positive about AMC. My question is, do you want to make money at AMC or do you want to be an AMC YouTube influencer? Which one it is? See, the problem that retail investors got in AMC is that they want to get paid. And there's somebody standing in the way of them getting paid. And you can't take the money back that you lost from Adam Aaron or from one percenters by being a pussy. Because, see, they don't respect pussies. See, they did what they did to retail investors in AMC because they don't fear retail investors in AMC. They don't fear them and they don't respect them. They wouldn't have never did what they did if they feared retail investors. They simply said, we're going to do what they just did over the past six months. What they just did, they said, you know what? We're going to do it whether they like it or not. If we happen to get some smoke from it, we ain't worrying about it. We can deal with the smoke because we, we know the type of smoke that they bring. We ain't even worried about what they're going to do. So we're going to do it anyway. You see what I'm saying? If look, man, if a person, if you as an AMC retail investor, if you feel like you got robbed and you feel like somebody took your money and you speak out against it, it does not mean, man, that <laughs> you're not an ape. If AMC or Adam Aaron did something to you and you speak out, it don't mean that you bashing AMC. It don't mean that you bashing the CEO. It simply means that, look, I felt like I feel like an injustice took place. I feel like somebody did something to me wrong, did something to me that was wrong. So what I want is I want the situation corrected. I want people to be held accountable and I want to be compensated for what happened. How you going to do that, man, if you keep your mouth closed and you don't say shit and you act like a pussy? How people going to know what happened? How they going to know they did something wrong and correct the situation if you acting like a pussy and you being passive and you not saying nothing? It doesn't make sense. You see what I'm saying? And see, look, man, the move that Adam Aaron and the one percenters made to me, that was a gangster move. I mean, they took retail investor shares, took their money, in my opinion. These are my opinions now. Even though 3.8 million retail investors, the majority of them ain't didn't want it, they did it anyway. That's a gangster move. You see what I'm saying? I mean, so, man, I heard, like I said, you hear every now and then you hear some retail investors say, hey, man, look, uh, uh, AMC influencer said, look, man, don't talk negative, man, <laughs> about Adam Mary. Now, people 90% down in their money. <laughs> they shooting a video, man, don't talk negative about Adam Aaron. Don't talk negative about AMC. Man, you sound stupid. Whoever does something like that, man, you sound stupid when you say something like that. You see what I'm saying? In my personal opinion, man, Adam Aaron and the people that's around him that's in his circle, they gangsters, bro. <laughs> they just happen to be wearing suit, suits, that's my opinion. And they operate, man, in the financial market. Look, check this out. Do you think that when Adam Aaron hook up, when Adam Aaron or his 1% of friends, do you think when they go somewhere, they in a secluded room or a smoke filled room and they sit, they sat down and they talked about the proposals and they talked about what they was going to do with AMC. Do you think that they were being passive and they was acting like a pussy? Do you not think, man, that, that, that they anticipated what they was doing, man, retail investors was not going to like it. Do you think that everything that they was that they say in them little smoke-filled rooms is positive, man? 
You know, when it comes to retail investors, you think they speak positive about retail investors? Like I said, brother, you may. That's why I said hey, some of y'all don't even know what you're dealing with when it comes to dealing with people like Adam Aaron and one percenters. They not being passive when they going to take something from retail investors. You know, they not somewhere acting like a pussy. You see what I'm saying? Talking about, hey, man, we don't want to bash retail investors. We don't say nothing. We don't, man, come on, man. That's why I said I think some, I think some people, man, in AMC, too pussy to get paid, bro. Some people just might not want to say it, man. I'm saying it. So let me say this. Some of y'all feel like if you be passive, if you be soft, if you don't say nothing about Adam Aaron, you just keep your mouth closed. You think you're going to get paid. Okay, we'll see how that's going to work.